when you look at the, um, the Arab world today in, in the middle of uh, the Arab awakening and, and the uprisings that are uh, all over the region. And you have to therefore look at two factors in the Arab world. One is what governments want and what they're trying to do and where the publics are that are increasingly more important and, and uh, in, in, the, in the politics of the region. Um, and I would say that uh, governments in, in the region, um, certainly no one wants Iran to have nuclear weapons. Uh, but there is strong preference, all of them, whether it's Egypt or Saudi Arabia or, or any of the major countries, the strong preference has always been uh, to uh, seek a nuclear free zone in the Middle East. Uh, and that means to, to bring Israel into the equation. So they have an incentive into using the Iran issue as a way of creating a linkage with Israeli capabilities. In the short term, it is true that there are some countries that would support a military strike against Iran's nuclear facilities. Um, but this is by no means universal, even in the Gulf region, and even within countries where there is support for a military strike by the US or Israel, there are divisions on this particular issue. Among the Arab public, it's a completely different story. It's not that Arabs are generally fans of Iran, but a majority of the Arab public, uh, it, really in, in, in every country that we've studied, um, uh, even including Arab citizens of Israel, a majority of the Arabs do not want international pressure on Iran to stop its nuclear program. They actually think that Iran has the right to a nuclear program, and they invoke the double standards issue when they do it. Um, when you look at when the two likely attackers of Iran, uh, 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 Israel and the US, uh, when you ask uh, people in the Arab world, name the two countries that are most threatening to you in an open question, including in Saudi Arabia, that has genuine worries about Iran and expansion of Iranian power. Um, when you ask them that question, um, overwhelmingly, they choose Israel first, the US second, and Iran as a distant third, uh, not as a major threat to them. And so Arab public opinion may not want Iran to develop nuclear weapons per se, uh, but they're not anxious to see uh, international a campaign against Iran. And they're more anxious, I would argue, to see um, Iran give the US and Israel black eyes. Uh, 